Well, it's summer, apparently. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you if I looked out the window. Fortunately, I have Tokyo Joshi's Summer Sun Princess to cheer me up. Before I do the rundown of the nine matches, let me do a bit of admin, as a lot has happened since Grand Princess that I think I need to cover. First of all, Hikari Noe is no longer in the company. Hikari had been absent since December last year. It was alleged that she had been unwell, but in the past month she has been let go. No graduation event or anything, just suddenly cut loose. It's been alleged that she made a friendship with a fan and was passing sensitive information to them. So when they fell out, the fan came out and leaked all that info. I don't know what that info was, or if the fan was a fan of TJP or of the Up Up Girls, but it's unfortunate regardless. I haven't heard of any plans for Hikari to come back with another promotion. It would be a shame if she didn't, as she was a great wrestler who only joined the Up Up Girls so she could wrestle. We'll have to see. On lighter moods, Kana is back, my favourite wrestler from the early days of TJP, has returned after a long absence. Kana left TJPW to pursue other interests, but instead did what most young people do, get into dead-end jobs and party at clubs. The lifestyle eventually caught up with her and she wanted to do more. Her friend and also former TJPW member Marika Kobashi offered to get Kana back into wrestling, and Kana eventually accepted. I loved her return match, Anarchy really brought out the fire in Kana, beating her into the ground. It was awesome. I will be following Triple P shows when Kana appears now. They are really good. They have pole dancers come out and everything. It's sick. With that out of the way, let's run now the card for the biggest event of the summer. To kick off, we have a tag match with all the rookies. It's Wakana Uhera, Toga, Runa Okubo versus Himawari, Shino Suzuki and Harukazu Shiro. Wakana and Himawari recently went for the tag titles together, but lost. The two are clearly the rookies with the most momentum at the moment, and so are now going against each other with their own rookie armies. Of all of them, Toga is my most favourite. She's added a rolling senton to her mix, and I frequently see her tagging with Yamashita or Kamiyu, which may be a hint as to what she will be progressing towards. Then we have a singles match of Chika Nanase versus Kira Summer. Kira is yet to get a victory in a singles match yet, but her opponent Chika already has one under her belt. In a recent singles match against Haru, I thought Nanase looked really good. Her double decker inspired gear has always drawn my attention. And she's only been wrestling for about five months now, so a singles match at a big show will be good for her. Kira, as I mentioned, is still fishing for her first win, and I'm hoping she gets to it so she can start to progress more and more. I don't know if Kira is some kind of experiment or not, having a Gaijin in Tiege as a full-time member is strange to say the least, but maybe if Kira is a big success, it's something that could happen more often. I think Kira has a great look, and I am patiently waiting for her to grow and get more moves. Next, we have a special singles match of Meisuruga vs Uza Takami. Meisuruga is back in TJPW after two years, and no other time, understand? She'll be taking on Up Up Girl's newest member, Uta, for now as another Up Up Girl's recruit has also been announced. And if you are not a watcher of Choco Pro or Gato Move, you're in for a real treat, as while May may not look it, she is absolutely fantastic at bringing out the best in rookies. After that, we have a triple tag match. It's Yuki Aino, Raku, and Palm Harajuku versus Yuna Manase, Mahiro Kiryu, and Kei Bami. Love Triangle returns, and I am sure this will be just as much of a handicap as it would be a boom. Yuki and Palm fighting for Raku's attention, with Yuki actually being against the two multiple times recently. And she has every right to be jealous. Raku has been amazing lately. Her starring role at Hype 2 was a boost to me to become more interested, after she had started falling off after her princess tag chase with Ito. As for their opponents, Yuna Manase has come back to say hi once more. She faced Naoka Koda on her farewell tour and is now back to teaming with Kiryu and Toribami. I was worried we would not see much of her anymore, as Gambri Pro is no longer under the Cyberfight banner, but she is still making appearances. Kiryu just keeps getting more over with the fans, she has really found her role to fill. It's not at the top of the card, or not even close, but it is where Kiryu is most comfortable. Toribami, I really want to do well and move up, with Yuka gone, a spot is open for a high flyer, and Toribami is primed to go there, I'm sure of it. One feud for the international championship, and I think that would really help her out immensely, even if she doesn't win. Ah, uh, except at the last minute now, uh, Mahira Kiryu is uh, out with sickness, so instead uh, Moeka Haruhi will be taking her place in the match instead. 
Then it's a singles match of Yuki Kamafuku versus Naoki Kutta. Naoki Kutta will soon depart from TJP, retiring from wrestling and entertainment altogether. To help see her off, Kamiu has stepped up to decide who the queen bitch of Tej is. These two have had a great rivalry since Kakuta joined TJPW, fighting over title belts and in tournaments. I expect this to be very hard hitting and hair pulley. Kimiu has been smashing it recently, picking up title belts to add to her attire. With new gear that is an echo, Saki Akai, she looks like a superstar. Kakuta also had a produce show of her own, wrestling once again with her old actress girl Davey Tance bringing the Joshi world that little bit closer with wrestlers from all over the wrestling world, including stardom. It goes to show how well respected Kokoda is in the Joshi sphere. It is absolutely crushing to see her go, but I'm sure it was the right choice, and I am expecting she will get a big send-off that is typical of Teach graduates. <laughs> and again, uh, now Kokoda is not going to appear at Summer Sun Princess because she has uh, back problems. So that's unfortunate. She'll be replaced with Kakaru uh, Sakaguchi, um, which is a real downer. Like, down, down. I'm so upset that I, I was really looking forward to this match. Uh, and, you know, this would have been one of Now's last matches before her retirement from wrestling. And that's just, that sucks so much. Next is a special tag match of Mia Yamashita and Maki Ito versus Mizuki and Emi Sakura. Mizuki and Emi teamed together after quite a journey. The two fought each other in a singles match at AEW. Sakura won despite Mizuki being Princess Champion at the time. Then at Grand Princess, the two fought again in a tag match with Mizuki beating her former mentor. Instead of settling the score once and for all, the two are instead teaming together against One to Million. Ito is still GCW Extreme Champion, adorning the belt with a nice bow. The title looks like it was made for her, and she has been staying in TJP for a long time now. She had been absent for so long and so often recently, I kind of forgot she was a full-time roster member. That feeling is instead being given over to Miyu, who has been on excursion since after WrestleMania weekend, wrestling in 16 different promotions and many more in the future, like against Shayna Baszler at the next Blood Sports. I'm really excited to see Emi Sakura, who is allowed to go all out now, and the story of Mizuki vs Ito will no doubt continue here. Then we have a special singles match of Aja Kong vs Shoko Nakajima. It's Kong vs Kaiju. These two have had a storied history. They teamed together once back in 2018, and ever since then have been facing off against each other. In tag matches only, mind. Now the two are set to go one on one once more. Probably because Hyper Misao is injured and out of action due to a surgery. Perhaps she will be at ringside to provide some support? Otherwise Shoko will have an uphill battle. I don't know what the matchup is of Kong vs Angaris. Then we have our semi-final for the Princess Tag Championship. It's champions Suzume and Arisa Endo versus Yuki Rai and Moka Miyamoto. Since winning the tag belts, Daisy Monkey were up against an even greener team than them. They managed to beat Wakana and Himawari, showing what the landscape of the tag division is like now that Majirabi are no more. With new tag teams made up of the newer batch of Tej trainees, each of them vying for the belts. On the 23rd of June, Moga Miyamoto submitted Princess Tag Champion Arisa Endo. Since fighting Hikaru Shida at the TJPW Prism, Moka has wanted to go for another championship, and having beaten her generational rival and tag champion, Moka has set her sights on those belts. The problem is, Moka's team karate tag partner Juri and Nagano has retired from wrestling, leaving Moka to have to find a new tag partner, and she has with international champion Yuki Arai. Of course Daisy Monkey have the belts to lose, but I think Mocha has much more to lose. She is coming into the match as the only unchampion, if that's a word. And if she takes the pin, it will show that maybe she was the weak link all along. Seeing how Mocha deals with that would be interesting. Then it's time for your main event for the Princess of Princess Championship. It's champion Mia Watanabe versus challenger Rika Tatsumi. The new gen has officially taken over TJPW. All the new champions are ones that have debuted post-2018, which may seem like a long time ago, but TJ has been juggling the same five or so champions since its inception. It happened a Grand Princess with Daisy Monkey winning the tag belts, and then Miyu Watanabe making it official by beating the ace of Tokyo Joshi, Miyu Yamashita, after being the first person ever to kick out of the skull kick. It's nice to see some new faces, but not everyone is so happy. I want to take a brief moment to talk about Shoko vs Miu. It's not Miu's latest offence, but my word was it the best Tej match so far this year, maybe for the whole year. 
it saw Shoko take on the role of the bitter veteran, determined to not let the new era take over while she is here, and Miyu needing to prove herself to Shoko. It was awesome and such a fresh take on Shoko that added to the match immensely. And speaking of bitter veterans, we have one more. The last technically with Rika Tatsumi challenging for the belt. Obviously, Rika and Miyu are no strangers to each other, as the two form the very successful tag team Daydream. And even though Miyu is the champion, she is everything to prove to Rika. Cast our minds back to when Miyu was international champion. The person to take the title off of her was Rika herself. Now Rika seeks to do the same again, but with the biggest prize in Tij on the line. In fact, in all the matches Miyu and Rika have fought, Miyu has never beaten Rika. Rika has been trying to play mind games with Miu, saying how she didn't want to face her in the warm-up matches, and then wanting to do more warm-up matches the week after. It seemed to work to unnerve Miu as she feels the need to figure out Rika before it's too late. Summer Sun Princess will stream live on the 20th of July exclusively for Wrestle Universe. The show will feature English commentary by Hakusan and Belly and Aki, and come from Kurikan Hall as the main Summer Sun venue is being renovated. I'm excited to see what the show has to offer. I didn't have much expectations for it, honestly, but that just means it can surprise me more, and I hope it does. As for the future, I want to finish my Getting Into Tiege video, but the company is constantly changing it. It's frustrating in a good way. I may just power through it and release it even if it becomes out of I may just power through and release it even if it becomes outdated a month later. I've also been pre preoccupied because I've kind of caught the Warhammer bug and I've been painting most days, all days actually, in between doing my dailies in Nikkei. I think that's all I got, so until next time, ta-ta.